Hey, welcome back everyone to another vlog and it's kind of a laptop repair day for me. I've been opening stuff throughout the day. So again, this is my not so daily driver anymore. Um, this is my daily driver, but uh, this is just another laptop we use for casual things it has 8 gigs of ram it's actually a pretty slow dual core pentium with an i gpu uh the main issue on there was the audio board kind of gave out um so the issue is with the socket itself the audio jack socket thingy uh, but i'll have to change the whole board um this audio jack looks pretty custom made um so i think it would be just easier to source one of these boards and replace them right there uh so kind of an easy repair uh other than you know opening the whole laptop up for a simple uh switcheroo but uh, i just wanted to show you around uh what's interesting is that this is your kind of uh, this is the actual CPU with a little GPU die so that the bigger one would be the GPU die and that would be the CPU uh, and that's on like a BGA thing cause it's all um, it's kind of an embedded thing uh, you know I, and, and mostly these cheap laptops are basically just single board computers with things attached to it and I could just as well or take this particular board out and use it as a generic single board computer that runs in Atom or no in Devil Pentium. Uh, good thing is I can upgrade it to 8 gigs and I have the Wi-Fi models out but the more interesting part is this particular model is also available in i5 and i7 which also means that there then happens to be an option to use an external GPU. So you will replace this with a nice 7 socket which will have larger dies of course and then here uh, that is more an interesting part uh, says HGPU3 and this is where your Radeon or uh, Nvidia GPU would go now I'm not sure what this is designed for because it surely looks like they had planned and all the BGAs are populated with the balls and you have your VRAM stuff here uh, and then you have your uh, GPU power management stuff here so you can see all the inductor pads are already there you have your little power MOSFETs there your power controller there uh, that's all unpopulated uh, and stuff like that so interesting they you know just use this one particular board for multiple models and half of the things aren't even populated here uh, luckily i do have the ngff slot so i have good wi-fi on this one um yeah apart from that i've just removed the heat sink uh fan combo just for a cleanup since i was in there anyways uh the fan doesn't spin as much this cpu barely gets hot it's again as i said not as powerful but yeah the more interesting part i think in this whole teardown was to find that i can actually have an embedded gpu on this of course you're not going to get you know your 1080 ti mx 2080 ti um, and stuff like that but uh, definitely some of the more lower end uh, gpu that nvidia allows you to just um uh, bga onto your board instead of having a separate pcie card which usually happens with bigger gaming laptops so again i uh, just thought this was kind of interesting and yeah thanks for watching little format video